Hi, my name is Matt Chinchuli. So I grew up in a pretty conservative Catholic home. And as I got into high school, I started exploring my faith a little bit, started getting involved with some of the youth ministries at the high school and started attending a Southern Baptist church. I think my uh, brain was pretty scattered at the time. I started reading the Bible, trying to put some pieces together. Uh, what came of it was a very moralistic person. Um, I kind of found reassurance in the good things that I was doing, kind of abiding by the law. Um, but at the same time, it never really felt natural. I kind of never really fit in with the Christian crowd. A lot of my old friends were just getting in too much trouble. So I kind of found myself a little bit in no man's land and um, really seeking God and um, what he had for my life. So over time, I really got to understand what grace was and the fact that God loved me regardless of how good I was. I think the way that I've seen God work in my life lately is more so as a father and son relationship. I think I always just try to do everything right by the books, but it wasn't too fulfilling. As my dad's getting older and as I matured a little bit, I developed kind of a deep loving relationship with my dad as my best friend, as kind of my, someone I can go to for guidance. I've transitioned and kind of learned that God kind of offers that as well, that type of relationship. Seeing how much my own dad loves me and then knowing that God loves me even more. I'm learning that God probably cares more where your heart's at as opposed to what you do kind of day in and day out. Um, I feel like my motives are right. And in that, I want to do better. I want to be a better person. I want to serve more. I want to love others more. I can't describe it to anything else more than just kind of authentic and loving and caring and, and kind of the way that it should be. I, I think the thing that I'd probably want to just add is um, I've been part of the Branches community for about eight years and it's just so refreshing to have a church where we don't always know what we're doing. That people here aren't perfect. They just come very humbly. Um, we're all just kind of sinners, just wanting to do better. And I've been able to develop uh, relationships with the people here that have guided me during, you know, very difficult times, but also people I can rejoice with when things are going better. So it's, it's just nice to have um, kind of the true, authentic, um, loving, caring community that we have here. And I feel really lucky to be a part of it.